you. You you ought to pause and allow God this moment to clarify for you what it is that you are apprehensively not praising him, thanking him, but ought to be for. I said you ought to pause. Close. You ought to say something somewhere. Even if it's just to yourself there. That my God has been good to me. So I can't even tell somebody today God's been good to me. I don't know how he's been on your neck of the woods. But I know over here he's been good. And I only came on a day regardless of what a hate I had to say. That the enemy may have tried. It, but God denied it, and I only came to let somebody know that God is still in control, my God, and He still has power in His hands. Let me tell you today, confirming it for the enemy's sake, He still holds. And I need you to know that tonight, that everything. It's already predestined to be all right because in the beginning, my God said it was good at the beginning and it was good at the end. It may not feel good. It may not work out for your better. It may not seem like God is in your greater or in your latter, but you got to know that it's going to work out for your turnout. He's going to make everything. Make it all right. You'll make it all right. you make it all. I can't hear you today. I said you'll make it all right. You believe that today? You believe God is still big enough? strong enough still all powerful enough do you believe it today do we look at situations but God I don't know how I'm going to get through this and you know that the sign of an anointed individual is not that they're going through it is that everybody connected to them going through it at the same time too. You, you, you stressed about the light bill, but, but grandma can't help you because she's stressed about the water bill. And, and auntie Nim can't only give nothing but advice because they stressed out about the insurance. And, and I'm talking about somebody today who's got school on their mind and a car on their hands. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about you got the repair bill and the consequences of somebody doing something bad, going to jail, looking for a bond's way out. I'm talking to somebody who's the whole circle's going through it. The sign that the enemy's after you. This plays for people like me to confirm to people like you. God's got something greater ahead. God's got something in store for I got something on the way on the way for you and I don't know who I'm talking to who may need that on tonight but I came to tell you what my grandma used to tell me that it won't be like this always I didn't understand it then. I didn't get it. I heard it, but I couldn't comprehend it. He said, baby, it won't be like this always. A little car situation came up. The money ran short in her hand. She couldn't get it for me by the time that she said that she would. I said, baby, that's all right. You know, if I had it, I'd do it for you. So, but it won't be like this always. Twelfth grade year, I got to march. 
two more months of school left. The counselor told me I didn't have enough credits to graduate to walk across the stage. I could not march. Dust yourself off and move up and go on. So I know you disappointed, but it won't be like this always. I got married young. I believe I had found it. But the enemy was on me because he couldn't let me see just what was in front of me. So I fooled me, tricked me, played me, and cheated on one of the best things that happened to me. I called my mom and I told her about it. So I didn't see it going this way. But it was me. I was to blame. I said, baby, it won't. I know you hurt, but it won't. I know you're handling the hell of it, but it won't. It's new and it's fresh and the wound still hurt, but it won't be like this always. Ended up catching a charge. Ended up catching a few cases. Had to sit it down in the county jail. Seven months. Every time I would call her that she could accept a free phone call. At least once or twice a month. She'd get on the phone whether it was at the beginning or at the end of our deliberation of the conversion of the conversation. She'd leave me with these words. She said, baby, I can't get you out. Because I ain't got the money to. And if I do what I want to do, they let you go, they come get me. She said, I want to tell you, I need you to hear me. It's rough right now, but it won't. It hurts right now, but it won't. It's difficult right now, Jeremiah, but it won't be like this always. And I needed to affirm for anybody. I needed to confer for everybody. I needed to testify anybody who was under the scope of the devil's eye. I needed to rectify for anybody who was doubted by mental mentality to tell you that this is why he won't do it for you. The Jude says, Jeremiah, remind them. Re re remind them what I said in my one book around the 24th to the 25th verse. I said, Jude, what you, what'd you tell him that's going to be good right here? I said, Jude, what'd you say to him that was going to help him out over there? Jude, you tell me something to encourage the people. Jude, tell me something that's going to motivate them and not discourage them. Tell, tell me something that's going to uplift them and not depress them. Jude says, tell them what I said in verse 24. and face myself but now unto him I don't know what 
you look at what's around you. I don't know what's been heavy on your heart, what's been <laughs> carrying on your shoulder, what you've been holding. Tears back, trying to hold it up, trying to be tough, trying to be brave, trying to be strong. Feel like you in a room surrounded, but you're all alone. Now I want to heal. I came today not to be somebody's choir member, not to be your preacher. I didn't come on the day to be your background singer, but I came on the day to be somebody's testimony for their come out tomorrow. That now unto him, <laughs> now unto him who is able to keep you from falling. When you can't carry it, give it to the now unto him. When you can't hold it, about to stroke out from it. It's heavy on you. You know how you gonna handle it if you can deal with it. God, should you just lay down and die in it? Now unto him. This is what I want you to know. On today and I'm done, I promise. I won't share another word. I won't take another minute. But I just came to be somebody's testimony coming out of it. That the only reason you're in it right now so that you can testify for somebody else's tomorrow. Then in this moment, I gave it to him who was able and he kept me from falling. Now, 